Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video I am bringing you my guide for the Wandering White, one of the first bosses you will encounter in the game Black Myth Wukong for PlayStation 5 and PC. Now, if you guys watch my um, my intro right there, that introduction to this fight is actually a really big key for a strategy that you want to use throughout this fight. There are going to be two things that I recommend you have in this battle before you take this boss on. The first thing I'm going to recommend that you have is some evil repelling medicament. I think I said that right. If not, please forgive me. It's literally at the shrine that's right before the boss fight, before the bridge where you fight the, the little fox looking guy. There's a shrine right there where you can buy a couple of those out of there. And you should have two or three on you already, so if you buy the ones that are there, you should have a total of six, which is more than enough for you to do the fight. You also want to have the spell immobilized equipped because that's going to make things a lot easier for you during this battle. Now, the big key with the Wandering White is he just has a lot of big, clumsy attacks. Now, he's also pretty fast. You're going to notice that for a large, for a large dude, he's, he's really fast. <laughs> So that's going to annoy a bit, but there's a few key attacks you want to look out for. There's one where he does kind of like a Kamea Blast that you're going to see like on Dragon Ball Z. One big advice I can give you for this is try to always dodge it to the right rather than the left. And that's because he fires it out of his left hand. Most of the time if you're dodging to the left, you usually land somewhere in its AoE. If you dodge to the right, it's a lot easier to escape from. He's also going to do this ground pound move where he pounds the ground and gets these AoE quakes to come out of it. Make sure you back away as far as you can and stop and just keep backing away. Don't dodge through it. Try to just back away from it. The quakes are going to pop up four times. It tricked me a few. The first time I fought him, I thought it was only two or three, but he actually does this quake four times and it fools you. He'll do one He'll do one big pop-up for the quake, he'll do another one, then a third one, and then he pauses and there's a really big fourth one that comes out and kind of tricks you during the fight. What I did is I tried to dodge around, move around a lot of his moves, like his big clapping move and stuff like that. Like I said, a lot of these things are AoE based and they're meant to trap you so he can combo you up. The thing you want to do is you want to go in, get some hits, and then keep your distance when he's doing larger attacks. You mostly want to try and stay as far away from, from as you can in this fight, go in, inch and pinch a little bit, and then just, you know, get some decent some decent swings back out just inch inch and pinch things and take your take your time do your combos and make sure you're using immobilize frequently every time you use immobilize make sure you have a nice heavy attack charge up so you can do a lot of damage and also if you're around level 8 or 10 make sure you put some points into that immobilize skill where you do more damage to immobilize targets he's a pretty easy boss though he did take me a couple tries he's not too bad once you get the hang of him and use of the mechanics but from there he's really simple to do if this guide helped you let me know. If you all enjoyed today's video, smash that like. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.